Plastic pollution, especially microplastics, are a growing concern. Yeah, scientists are studying them, trying to learn how much damage they can do to our bodies and our planet. Rick Mudaraj traveled to the Texas coast where microplastics are littering the beaches. It's a beautiful day at Sylvan Beach Park. But trash also litters the beach. And among it, as Lisa Scobell shows us, a true environmental disaster. It's about the size of a lentil. And this is considered a primary plastic, which means it was made specifically to be this shape and this size. Billions of nurdles, pellets of pure plastic, constantly wash up on Texas beaches, dotting the sand like snow. These tiny pieces of solidified oil produced by petrochemical giants often spill during transport. High winds and ocean currents spread the problem far and fast. So whether that's through trains, vehicles, or on ships they can escape, sometimes there is intentional dumping, and sometimes you have these large-scale spill events that occur. But as Scobell points out, little to no effort is made by companies to clean them up. You, you see the size of this, it looks like a fish egg. Mm -hmm. So a lot of animals actually eat this because they'll think it's a natural source of food. And it's not just aquatic organisms, it's the birds that are on the beach too. Mm -hmm. Potentially when you're eating different seafood and things, you have to consider maybe the potential of microplastic exposure through your food. Nurdles are an example of a primary microplastic. Made less than five millimeters in size, they're melted down to make a variety of everyday items, from clothes to grocery bags, food wrappers to artificial Christmas trees. Secondary microplastics are fragments from larger pieces of plastic, like water bottles, that break down to smaller pieces. So small, they've been detected throughout the human body, in blood, saliva, liver and kidneys, and even placenta. And most recently, in the clogged arteries of cardiac patients, according to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Because they actually found that the um, when they compared the people that had those little microparticles in the plaque, which was about two thirds, mm -hmm. to the one third that actually didn't have them, the ones that did have it had actually higher rates of heart attack, stroke, and peripheral arterial disease. Dr. John Higgins, a non-invasive yeah. cardiologist with UT Health says, what scientists are still trying to figure out is how exactly microplastics affect our health. Is this uh, something that just um, came into your body and decided to settle down there, but is not doing anything? Or is this part of the actual uh, driving the inflammation, which is actually making the plaque worse mm -hmm. and or, you know, accelerating the growth of that obstruction? Dr. Higgins say doctors can't make outright recommendations just yet, but says it doesn't hurt to make an effort to use less single use plastic. A change that would not only affect human health, but the environment as well. And ultimately, earth and, and this is our home, you know, so it sustains us and I'm a really big believer in helping to do everything that we can to protect it. A lot of people feel overwhelmed when they hear about issues like this and they think, would my actions even make a difference? The answer is yes. When it comes to your health, Dr. Higgins says simple changes can go a long way. Don't heat or reheat food in plastic containers. Use glass containers instead. Also, avoid drinking out of plastic water bottles as much as possible. And if you're interested in cleaning up our beaches, the Galveston Bay Foundation hosts nurdle cleanups a few times a year. We have more information on our website, khou.com. Back to you.